and welcome back to another video here in the off-grid garage late evening I actually wanted to make a video about charging these these battery cells here there were some questions in there how I use the buck converter and how I charge these battery cells with this um, modified power supply for example or other methods and everything I was going to do this video today but then it got too late and the sun went down and we need we need solar outside we need the full power of the sun for that I want to show you some some crazy stuff how to charge these batteries very quickly with solar um, so I'll do this video tomorrow but I thought I'd do another video tonight I want to talk about the delivery process of these batteries a little bit because there were some questions in under my videos as well and people were asking how long does it actually take and how does it all work with the with Alibaba how do you how do you order these battery cells you know um, there's always a link down in the description of each video where I bought these battery cells these ones so how this all works you you basically go on the Alibaba website and you get in contact with the manufacturer of these battery cells um, let them know where you live and you want a quote for well they sell them in, in packs of four you know 12 volt so four batteries is a 12 volt system let them know how many cells you want where you live and then you can you can negotiate sometimes a little bit um, most of the time there's not much room for them I think or they are not willing to negotiate any price discounts or something for you but I wish you good luck with that <laughs> well um let me let me post the camera here i've got some got some notes here as well yeah some people are still a little bit concerned to order with alibaba in china directly they've never done this before and i can fully understand this i was the same when i ordered the first time it took me like six weeks or seven or eight weeks even to make the decision to do that to spend 680 six almost 700 Australian dollars and I totally refuse to put my credit card details into a Chinese website you know you can't really understand this but my wife always said just do it it will be fine and so yeah so and then end of July I did my first order with Alibaba directly put my credit card details in and ordered my first box of four battery cells and this was let me have a look this was on the 17th of July I ordered the four battery cells and got the confirmation that they received my money on the same day. They sent me an email five days later on the 22nd and provided the tracking information. And um, I've got them on the screen here, you can see the tracking confirmation. And surprisingly this first order came from Hong Kong, not from China directly. I mean Hong Kong is part of China I know that but you will see this in the further orders this one looks a bit different and this one was different and the dates not necessarily mean this is when this event happened this the date and the time only means when someone put the information into the tracking system so this is why the order is sometimes a little bit off so the batteries here they arrived on the 25th of July already in Kingsgrove, New South Wales. I think this is near Sydney somewhere. I don't know exactly. And then you can see on the same day someone entered the flight dispatched from Hong Kong to Australia and arrived on the 26th. And this is what I said in my first video. The first batch of batteries was sent via airplane. This came with an air freight directly from Hong Kong apparently to Sydney, Australia. I don't know how they sent these batteries via airplane. I don't think this is allowed or something I don't know well anyway it, it was very good for me because it took only a few days from the order on the 22nd until the actual batteries were here in Australia is this camera going down slowly maybe well the batteries left on the 25th and arrived here in Sydney on the 26th so that was all good uh, deconsolidation is when they unpack all the boxes pallets and everything they have on the airplane or in a container or something and then um, yeah sort out where to deliver all these single packages basically this is the deconsolidation process they do in the port or airport or wherever the stuff comes in and the same day they did the deconsolidation 
they actually dispatched this whole package to the courier as well. And then you can see from the tracking it left New South Wales, it left Sydney and then Red Bank QLD and then lately here this is our local post office here not far away from where I live. This is this is where I made the other video you know where I picked up the first delivery the first batch of these batteries. And it took me three days to find some time to actually go to the post office and I was so excited to pick up these batteries. You can see from the uh, from the order from the 17th of July it took 17th of July uh, 3 13 it took less than three weeks actually from my order until I received the goods here. Less than three weeks. And I was super, um, super impressed with that, you know. I didn't know this whole thing came with air freight to Australia here. So I was expecting a much longer, like a six or eight week period transport via container ship or something from China to somewhere here in Australia. But three weeks, less than three weeks, I was totally blown. Yeah, and this is our, this is my second order here. This was another three boxes, 12, yeah, 12 cells all in total. So I ordered on the 26th of August and three days later they provided me with the tracking information. As you can see, this is the start point of this tracking here as well. And this time you can see it comes from Yan, Yan Tian PT, Yan Tian in China. Well, I'm just thinking of maybe it took them three weeks until the actual ship left the port in China and then the ship arrived here on the 8th of October so it was on the way for 10 20 days 20 20 days on sea and then it went into the custom and the value was so high I had to pay customs and taxes and all this kind of stuff which I did not pay for the first delivery here in Australia it is like everything under the value of 1000 Australian dollars you don't pay any customs and you don't pay um, additional tax you pay the GST of course but but the GST is already included in the order here it says high value and this was held in custom for about two uh, seven six days for about a week and I received this weird text message oh we've got a parcel delivery here for you can you please provide your email address I said, uh, that's a bit weird, that's a bit scammy, like text message or something. I texted back and said, uh, who are you and what kind of delivery do you have? And then they provided more information and saying, we have three boxes from China here for you. And I said, oh, well, these are the batteries, you know. Okay, this must be legit then. So I gave them the email address and they emailed me all the information I needed to fill out a form, like a text declaration form. And it wasn't overly hard. So they, and this company deals with all the custom and taxes and fees and everything. So you pay the company basically. And they they pay the government with taxes and GST and 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 customs and and um, other fees, port fees, and all this kind of stuff. Because this order was over one thousand dollars. It's a high value thing. It goes through this company and they take care of it. And they took an additional seventy five or eighty five dollars for their service, of course. So this came all on top of my order. This was the most expensive one I did so far because it was over one thousand dollars. So keep this in mind if you order more batteries, it will be more expensive because you have to pay all these extra stuff at least here in Australia. Of course, every country is different. Well, so I did all this paperwork for them and paid the invoice to the company as well, and then it took another week or so. Uh, deconsolidation was on the twentieth. And the depot scan to the courier was the same was the same day. And then the next day, the truck already arrived here at the front gate, at the solar gate, and honked. I was luckily I was working from home that day because I didn't know the delivery came that, that quickly. And the driver said, oh, I've got I've got three very heavy packages for you. And I said, wow, this was still in Sydney yesterday. And he said, yeah, 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 this is no problem. We've got overnight deliveries from Sydney to all kind of places in Australia here. And so I got the delivery the next day, basically, you know. And with this delivery, I had a bit of an argument with the manufacturer because I was expecting a quick delivery again, like with the first, like with the first order, you know. And they said, well, this is not up to them. They just dispatched the batteries basically in China to the courier and the courier decides if it goes onto a ship or if it goes onto an airplane. And they don't have any control about this 
process basically. So I was lucky the first time it came from Hong Kong. So that's why this one took 25. It's like eight eight weeks or something. So almost three times as long as the first order. Yeah, and this this all in total was like fifteen hundred dollars or something Australian. And well I spent this all with a credit card, yeah, and had nothing basically. <laughs> and I was just waiting, 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 waiting. And it took so much longer than the first delivery. It's getting a bit hot here, really. Well this whole thing could be a little bit scary, right? Well and then I did the third order because I decided I wanted because I decided I didn't want to build the 24 volt system, I want to build a 48 volt system with about 15 kilowatt hours of storage. So we're getting the same amount of cells again to double up to 16 cells all in total then. And this is the one I paid only for six cells, but will get eight delivered. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> So I ordered on the 2nd and on the 3rd they confirmed um, having received the money and on the 6th they provided the tracking information, that's fine. And then the sea vessel dispatched the AS Carlotta. That sounds rather like a really tiny tiny sailboat, right? Well, the Carlotta left China on the 18th apparently and arrived on the 13th. Well, and you can see now with eight batteries, I'm under the $1,000 threshold here in Australia. There's no high value. Custom held was on the 25th and the clearance process was already completed on the 27th. So it took them only two days. So that was much easier with eight cells here in Australia. So a 24 volt system with seven and a half kilowatt hours, there's, there's no custom issues at all. It just goes uh, straight through. And then I looked again just an hour ago and I could see the shipment dispatched to Korea was on the 3rd which is today. There's good hope these eight battery cells are now on the truck from Sydney to Brisbane just as we speak. Well at the moment I'm recording at least and with a little bit of luck we will receive the batteries tomorrow and then have our full 16S 48 volt 15 16 kilowatt hour battery here on the workbench and <laughs> I'm really excited. This is so much energy, it is unbelievable really. <laughs> so yeah and if it if it arrives tomorrow we can have a quick look. So I ordered on the 2nd of November so it's November. It took a little bit over a month only with this delivery here because AS Carlotta was a lot faster than the Hyundai Vancouver. <laughs> that is so funny. Why would you call a ship Carlotta? <laughs> it's cool. I like it. I should put this name on all these battery cells, Carlotta. All right, my friends, I think this is everything I have for you today. I just wanted to share these um, yeah, experience and information because people are asking and said, oh, you're not scared about putting your credit card details into a website in China and how do you order and how long does it take and what is your experience in general with ordering from Alibaba? So these are the three deliveries I had so far. Well, two, the other one is still outstanding, but I hope I will receive it tomorrow then to complete our battery. Yeah, let me know if you have any further questions about the delivery process of these batteries directly from China here to Australia. It might be different to other countries. Well, if you have received these batteries in other countries, well, share your story down below. Um, make this available for the whole community there. Well, I'm always keen to read other experiences. Is this a word? Well, I'm always keen to read what you have experienced with your delivery of batteries. Was this a nightmare? Was this a pain? Did you have any claims with them, any warranty claims so far with them, broken defect batteries or something? I would be interested in this as well. All right, guys, um, I think we will see us soon in the next video, probably tomorrow when the sun is coming back, because I want to show you how to charge these bad boys here with solar energy very, very quickly, and you will be surprised. Okay, guys, as always, thank you so much. By the way, you are freaking crazy we've got over 1200 subscribers now on the channel here now this is super crazy thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and welcome to the show <laughs> okay guys thanks again see you tomorrow in the next video bye bye